Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope fine. I am your Anjana ma'am back here with the science lessons of class 4. Students, I hope you have enjoyed your summer vacation these last two weeks. But along with your enjoyment, you must have studied. Let me give you a small information. You are going to have your first unit test this month. Your syllabus for science is chapter 1 and 2. Prepare well the chapter. I hope you have done it because already I have taken revision test. You must have written it in your test copy. Now we will continue with our studies. We will go to chapter number 5. Take out your book page number 42. Adaptation in plants. Let us read the chapter. I will explain to you later on. Plants grow in most places of the earth, in plains, on hills, on snow-clad mountains, in deserts, in lakes and in oceans. So you find plants all over the earth at different places. There are different landforms on the earth. There are plain land, hilly areas, mountain covered with snow and there are deserts where there is very little rainfall. There are lakes and oceans. You must have learnt about all these things in your earlier classes. We can broadly divide plants into two groups. Terrestrial plants, that is plants that grow on land and aquatic plants, plants that grow in water. So what is the meaning of terrestrial plants? Plants that grow on land. Land means all. It includes the plain land, the hilly area, the desert, lake, uh, sorry, mountains, etc. And aquatic plants means plants that grow in water, in lakes and in oceans. The surroundings of a living thing provide it with all that it needs to live. What is surroundings? All the things that are present around the thing. They provide the plants with all that it needs to live. The natural home of an organism where it lives and grows is called its habitat. So what underline the word habitat, what does it mean? The natural home of an organism. Where an organism lives, it is and grows, it is its habitat. Some organism lives in land, plain areas, some live in desert, some live on the mountains. A hilly region and a desert are example of habitats. Each habitat has different living conditions like temperature, type of soil, rainfall, availability of sunlight and so on. So what are the different conditions for how the animals and the plants survive? It depends on their temperature. Some can survive in very cold weather. Very, some, suppose the polar bear, they live in the cold regions, the penguin. It also depends on the type of soil. Some plants grow in alluvial soil, some in the black soil. We will learn about it in your later classes. Rainfall. Some plants need more rainfall for its growth and some can survive in very little rainfall like in the desert. Availability of sunlight. All places do not receive the same amount of sunlight. Living things have special characteristics or features called adaptations. So, what is adaptation? The special characteristics or features of a living thing that enable them to live in a particular habitat. Without adaptation, a plant or animal may not be able to survive in that habitat. Our cow or goat cannot live in the desert. See, a camel can live in the desert because it has special characteristics. Its feet are quite wide so that it does not sink in the sand. It has a hump on its body to store the fat so it can go without water for many days. And the plants that grow there, they have very, their, their leaves are modified into spines or thorns so that the water is not lost. Their roots grow deep inside the sand in search of water. Now let us learn about adaptations in terrestrial plants. 
Plants in different habitats on land show different adaptations. Let us understand some of them. Plants in deserts. Some areas receive very little rainfall in a year. These habitats can be hot or cold. A place that receives very little rainfall is called a desert. So desert can be hot desert or it can be cold desert also. In a desert plants cannot grow, normal plants. Plants here have to adapt to very little water being available. Have you observed a cactus? How does it manage to grow in a hot desert? Plants like the cactus show various adaptation. So if you learn about cactus, you will understand how does a cactus survive in a desert. Water is stored in their stems. So a plants like the cactus, they, their water is stored in their stems. Hence the stems are fleshy and have a thick waxy skin. Water is there, so it is fleshy. The leaves are reduced to spines so that water is not lost. They also protect the plant from being eaten. So what is the special characteristics of the cactus? Their leaves are modified into spines or thorns. You have seen the leaves of the, of, of, of the trees around you. They look different from this cactus plant. Why? Because these leaves are modified into spines so that water is not lost. They can live in the desert for many days. And these thorns cannot be eaten by the animals, so it also acts as a protection for them. The green stem takes care of photosynthesis. You know, students, which part of the plant takes care of photosynthesis? Yes, you know it. It's the leaves. The leaves make the food for the plant. That is the process of photosynthesis. But in the cactus, the leaves are reduced to spines, so it cannot make the food. Here, the green stem, it is flesh, it is thick and waxy skin, it is fleshy and it also, it makes the food for the plant. Cacti have different types of roots. What are the different types? In some of them, the roots go deep into the ground in search of water. I told you, it, the cacti grow in desert. In the desert, there is sand. The sand cannot hold the water. So the water is deep inside and the roots grow deep into the ground in search of water. In many of them, the roots form a network just below the surface to take in rainwater before it evaporates. So after the rain falls, the heat of the sun, it evaporates the water. But before the water can be evaporated, the roots absorb that water for its survival, for the plants to survive in the desert. Other plants that grow in deserts are the beetle bush, date palm, mesquite bush and so on. These are shrubs that grow in the desert. I hope now you have understood the characteristic features of the cactus which help it to survive in the desert. Let us learn till this much. We will continue in our next class. Thank you and have a nice day.